Have you soiled yourself with yellow snow? Have you been ostracized from the team? Find out how to restore your bright white finish heat. Gentlemen, we can rebuild. We have the technology. Hello and welcome to Collection Connections. Today, we're going to restore the classic G.I. Joe figure Snowjob. Snowjob was released by Hasbro in 1983. His military specialty is Arctic Ski Patrol. His secondary specialty is Rifle Instructor. According to his bio on his file card, he was a major Olympic biathlon contender. Snowjob has fallen on tough times as of late since he fell into a latrine on a recent mission leaving his once pristine white snowsuit looking yellow. He has been the butt of many jokes around G.I. Joe headquarters since the incident. He has enlisted the restoration experts at Collection Connection to help him restore his original vintage look and help him get back into good graces with Flint and the rest of the Joe team. Snow Job is made from white solid plastic. Over time this plastic can turn yellow. To get rid of that yellow we use Retro Brush. Retrobrite is the name of a homemade concoction that sneaker enthusiasts invented. To make Retrobrite, we use some Salon Care 40, hydrogen peroxide, and OxyClean. We are also going to use some Tupperware to put that figure inside of to keep it airtight, and also a small container and a figure stand to keep the figure lifted out of the mixture. On our Storm Shadow video, I got some comments that said we didn't need to even put any of the mixture on the figure but that it only needed the mist of the mix to perform the task. So we're going to experiment with that on our first run here. After we mix the mix and let it sit for 24 hours, it looks like the whole thing just globbed together and overtook the entire container. So my point of making sure that the figure didn't get submerged in the OxyClean was moot. It was totally submerged as the Retro Bright took over like the glob and oozed out of the top of the container. This must be the Swiss Capitol building, but I don't see any Yeti, er, uh, Yetis. Y Yeti? I don't see anyone. Ow, what the? <laughs> Ow, snow job, you idiot. Snow job, you'll believe anything. <laughs> So it looks like Snowjob still hasn't got any respect from the team. We're going to go back to the drawing board and mix up some new modified Retro Bright. This time on day two, we're only going to be using Hydrogen Peroxide 3% and Salon Care 40. I really think that the OxyClean caused such a like sudsy reaction to it that it just made it overtake the entire mixture. This mixture, I believe, is going to be a lot better, so we'll mix it up and see how it goes. As you can see, he's still pretty yellow, uh, but his hands look a lot better compared with the rest of him. So we just want to make sure his legs are matching his hands. As you can see here, the color from hand to knee, there's, there's quite a discrepancy there. So once again, we'll put him in here and seal it up. Give it another bit of time um, in the sun. I believe the, what I read during my research is that it's a combination of the mist that's coming off of the retro bright and the sun. So here we are after 24 hours on day three when we had the hydrogen peroxide mix and the Salon Care 40. It, it did oxidize inside of or looks like condensated a bit inside of the container. So we pulled it aside. And as we can see, he's still a little bit yellow, but there has been an improvement. But he still looks like he's been playing in the yellow snow. So we're going to put it through one more day. This is after day three. We put it in the same mix, and it looks like the it wore out his belt a little bit, some of the black on his belt. But aside from that, it looks really good. So. We're going to roll with the way he looks now, and this is a great picture comparison between the two. I'm also going to be repairing his knee there, 
his left knee has a, a really loose joint in it. Um, that can come from sand or something getting in between the peg and the hole and then it acts as like sandpaper and it will make the knee get loose eventually. So all I'm doing is dismantling the figure, putting a little bit of a tester's glue, like a rubber cement to this, not a rubber cement, but like a model glue, putting that to the side. And I'm going to brush that very lightly over the peg that will go into the knee socket and then I'm going to let that dry. And then what that'll do is it'll just build up the peg a little bit so that the plastic is thicker than it, than it is now and it'll keep it from getting loose. We're also, since we had the fading happen when we put the black paint in the retro bright, we're going to get some black testers and touch up the black spots on the figure. Hopefully between the knee peg being restored and the black paint on the figure, we should be putting together and having a really nice clean snow job. As you can see from this, the dismantled pieces, he looks pretty white already. We'll see how this looks once we touch up these black spots on here and we'll get it going. You want to make sure you shake up the paint really well so it's not too liquidy because those paints, the testers model paints will settle after time and just get a little small dab on your brush and lightly cover the paint or cover the pieces that were needing a touch up with the testers paint. We've let this figure paint dry and the glue on the knee dry. Now we're going to be assembling the snow job figure. As you can see, the knee fits into the peg and it's nice and tight. It doesn't wobble around, it's not loose anymore, so A-OK -okay on that piece. Now we need to reassemble the entire figure. Some of the screws are rusted, so I replaced the screws with some other G.I. Joe's figures that I have laying around. And you can see rust in the holes, but once you put the screw inside, the rust goes away. So we're just going to replace the O-ring, put this figure back together. You want to carefully put the crotch piece on so that you don't break that very big deal. You can use a screwdriver to pull the ring up through it. And then just carefully put snow job back together again. Balance the right arm in there. Left arm falls out, of course. But we'll put the head back inside. Put the left, left arm, excuse me, yeah, the left arm on. And we'll put the chest piece on. Almost done, now we just gotta put the screw into his back. Screw it up. And there we have it, nice and tight. All the joints are good. The paint looks awesome. He's pristine and white again. Great looking snow job figure, amazing. Here we have a recard kit. Just stick him on top of the recard kit. Put his skis and accessories together with him here. Ski poles, guns, or ski poles in his gun. Clumsily. Now we'll do our movie magic. Voila! Totally restored, fully carded snow job figure. No more yellow snow, super bright, awesome vintage look, vintage feel. It's like it's 1983 all over again. Now his arms are still a little bit wider than the rest of him, 
but I really can't complain. This figure came out really crisp, really clean. Top notch job. Now Snow Job will get the respect he deserves with, from the G.I. Joe team. He'll be able to go back out on patrol with Flint again. Thanks for watching Collection Connection and Yo Joe! We're down to two choices. Either we plow straight through them or we let them run over us. Some choice. Yo Joe! Lay low and hope Cobra doesn't find us or the others.